the wire coming from the bottom of the bed and plug in there. Can I take one to the outside? No, it's right here. This is one called the light. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in Now with your level extra scrap piece of wood there, if you want to take your electronics out, I'll walk you through the step by step how they attach their electronics. Mine kind of goes wonky all over. It's actually zip tied to the cables coming from the uh, from the uh, motor drive. For what? You don't mind with the Okay. So once you have your electronics out. I'm going to take that and to, to those two little sails in the corner, I'm going to put those on your lower left hand side. You can mount your electronics. Yeah. Okay, so you got it on your lower left hand side, and now you can keep that little piece out of the wood. On the top, you can see two zip tie slots. If you want that face in you, two zip tie slots, and you've got four zip ties. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is take one good side and push right in this hole. Okay. Right to those bed double bolts. Once the ramps shield, the ramps are covered up. Just perfectly line that up. And you take your board, slide it right through there. And go to the side, tighten it down. Flat. Yeah. 
want it so the strip side is close to support. The strip side is close to support. basically have a double image at time with this. So this, is the time. this is the first one, this is the second one. Yep, just like that. And then is it inside of that whole third one? And there's another one kind of clear as there is a Plenty more zip ties. You guys need You're only going to need the laptop one right now, but you can take the other staff. So have your with you as well. Okay. Both those, essentially. I'm talking about the laptop one, the smaller black one, power brick.
very much. I'm trying to see. Is that another one here? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Do you want to have a Mac? You have a Mac right now. Okay. You don't have any problem with zipping files? Did you already get that file? You know what? Um, I got it. Okay. At first, it was Did you install the uh, Arduino software? Yeah. Okay, good. So you should be set up already. Are you using the uh, IE for Arduino? Right. You don't already have it installed, do you? I do. You do? Great. We can get started. Do you have the uh, host software, Contraface, installed? For this? Controlling it? Uh, all I have is the IE for uh, Is there a marker on here? Okay, on the laptop power supply, you're going to want to mark the letter B. I got a, that's not exactly a marker. <laughs> Okay, I think we can get by without without marking anything. Make sure your your uh, power supply is not plugged into anything yet, and take the laptop one and plug it into the bottom two one. That bottom two connectors on your on your laptop. Yeah. yeah. Over here. 
like the SD card? Could the uh, software in the printer install that whole file? I think so. Try to open the uh, open that file. Which one? Roger face. Roger face. Roger face. Yeah. It's not a real one there as well, but just use the new one. <laughs> it's got the original software that comes with the firmware that comes on your boards. So if you need to reflash it, you'll have the original. So if you want to close that before you connect in, just get some C on as well. Okay. Shut it down. No, just that that, that program. Shut that program down. Yeah. Pretty big, huh? Okay, while we're waiting, you can connect, find your C motor connector. Coming off from the C. You can plug it into the C motor pins on your press. home for me. So when it gets done, it presents itself to me and I'm, I'm ready to grab it. But when I print something, it's flipped around the other way. It's not backwards, it's just the other way. But your, the default is to print like this. So when you go X positive, or X positive, it's going to go this way. And if you go Y positive, it's going to go this way. So you can decide now which corner you want to start from. Is there a 
in a fancy way. You do it in such a simple Just so it comes out to me. So I don't have to do another step. So let's say it printed like this for, for me. When it gets done, it's going to go back to that position. Right. And then I have to pull it back up again. So I just run that. I pull it out, take it off, put it back. This is one more thing I have to deal with. So it's up to you. It's not a big deal. But that's the default position. Right here. Right. So this is your default. This is where I like to press. So if you make your own right now, we'll have to start. Then we don't know which way to flip your motors. Um, Windows or Mac? What's that? Windows. Uh, are you on Windows? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's so separate. Everything lies in the title. Okay, you take your USB and plug it into the uh, Arduino board. Don't plug it into your laptop chip. It's going to be like a prison table. Just work, work. Okay, Z, find your Z with. Okay, great. Let's go one of those two points. There's an IRD one. There's a board set up for IRD printers as well, so there's some options. Okay, not out of here. <laughs> You're going to have to kind of figure it out and make sure you make note of it. When you put it all back together, you have the panel put back on. So. Are you? Oh, they don't. You might have to flip this around. You might have to throw it. You can add X and Y. Like, so. yeah, X and Y. Which one's X and Y? Uh, there's a Y right there. X and Y. Okay. 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 Close it out. I'm excited. I need to close it out when I connect and then when I connect. I can. Okay, so before you connect your PC, ensure your plug in, your premium cable coming from the laptop power supply is plugged into your keyboard. X, Y, and Z are all connected if you want them to. Or well, I have to connect to X, Y, and Z. I guess just the C. Okay. Uh, well, we can just start off with that. You're going to have to shut it down and start it. So what else is this is plugged This is good. The USB is plugged in. There's no power yet. No power yet. Nothing's plugged in. Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead and plug it into the laptop power supply to so the power outlet. We have them on the back side of the desk. Plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. Yep. It's going to give it a few minutes, maybe you have to uh, find something and detect that on the devices. Just go through the normal process. If you already installed Arduino, like you say you have, have you already installed Arduino? You said you have yeah. 16? Uh, okay. I don't know. We'll see how. If you've already installed it, it should have no problem finding it. And hey, you know what? If you've got an extra USB, you can plug in the other guys next to you too. You can do two printers at the same time. But if you can't get crazy about it, it's just one at a time. Alright, and then you should be able to open up the counter face. Start to come. Yeah, 
Oh, my scene didn't do no exist. I've got one. Okay, if everyone installs the other one, that's the top. You should have five sentences. You're going to convert yourself right now. While you're waiting, feel free to finish firing up your machine and not plug in. You can tip the power down and finish firing up your machine. If you guys just need to bring the next line up.
first. Okay. Center table. When you get there, you're going to want to select the border. It's cool. You need a mega. Serial board. All day tomorrow, troubleshooting people's software. Today, we're just going to get working. You don't even see the item yet. Is it powered on? Yeah. Is it powered on? Close it out and start it back up in my You start the laptop in? No, just the computer. Let's find the port again the tools. It's saying it's unit. We're doing Omega. Good. AK on COM3. COM3, good. That's a good sign. Yeah. This COM3 is when you do my phone book, so. It's not seeing it. It's seeing it. It's saying it's seeing it, but it's not connecting. What do you need? Should be serial port. Click on serial port. See what's coming up. Okay. No problems here. Okay. Close that out. See if we can connect to project face. The files. Working, you'll see a serial port come down right here. So, okay, I'm going to steal this from you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can take your USB. Your USB. End of your USB. Okay, we close. Yeah, I've, I've connected several machines, so I'm going to convert them. Okay. That's not really a problem. I should be able to connect to the board without connecting the power. You can still plug it in. There it goes. There, COM 14, 13, 14. Someone's 14. Let's see who it is. How old are you? Okay. I'm going to do some. Is this is this plugged in and powered on? Mm-hmm. You got everything plugged in? You got everything plugged mm -hmm. in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, X one and Z, yeah. I mean. Okay.
There's no way to see if our script is working on the back side here. I'm going to assume it's not bringing power to the... Yeah, is that lightning? There we go. Huh. Ah, simple as fixes, huh? Okay. Okay. So I'm telling your Z to go up right now. I'm actually telling him to go into the positive. Even though it's dropping, it's still going into the positive. Okay? That's exactly what we want. So it's working very well. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to you. Yep, the other guy. I'm going to go to 14. Connect. Something's wrong. Your Y bed is moving, and your Z bed should be moving. So I'm going to disconnect from you. Okay. I'm going to unplug you, you're going to power it down, and you're going to fix it. Okay, so it's swap Y and Z. Uh, let me make sure. So Z thinks it's Y, or it's acting as Y. Okay. X should be this one. That is moving into the negative when it should be moving in the positive. So you might want to write down. Or if you can memorize it. Flip X and Y, or flip. Turn X around. Turn X around. Flip X. Okay. I, now this should be Z since... There goes C. Okay. Okay, so, so flip X. Z is good. Nope, Z needs to be flipped with Y. Okay. Yeah. So just okay, I'll just connect you. You're done. I'll go to you. Okay. So that's negative. For Y and Z moving in the correct directions. Uh, we'll see once it gets connected again. Okay. So your C is good. Which way do you want X to be? Which way, where do you want a home? I, I know I'm like, well, I do it the way you do it. So I don't have to do anything. So your X is in the right direction for positive. Okay. Why? That's Y positive. Yeah. Is it? It should be the other way around. The other way around. Right. Because if I go negative, that should be the positive direction. So flip your Y around. Okay. Now right, let me disconnect from you. Right. You're disconnected. Power down. Flip your Y. Okay. You ready? Yep. Okay. Power up. You can power up and come like that. Yeah, we just got to get this Arduino stuff working. I hate Arduino. You get the Arduino girl in here to do it. You're connected to me. Z going positive, which means the flight goes down. Something's too tight. Binding. Turning away. No two bolts. Let me try it here. Okay. It also could be your pot. You have the potentiometers on the top of your machine, on the top of your circuits there. If they're too weak, it'll it will do that. It won't push it all the way through. On the top of um, right here. You don't want to touch these with your bare fingers, but yeah, right there. Yeah. We can oh, we can strengthen those. We can fix that. Okay. Uh, let me check check your X. X positive. Do you want your X positive to work the same way as mine? No, I'd like actually I'd like this be my default up here. Okay. So as I'm looking at it, I see X, Y, Z. So, so I just need more math. From the front of it? Yeah. Or from the side? No, from here. Okay. So this would be your zero. This would be my default. This up here. Okay. So it's off. This is how you want to start. Like the normal cartoon. All right, so we're gonna go X. Let me go to the middle so we don't bump. Okay, this is ten in the plus. Okay, ten in the minus. 
good. And y ten to the plus. Okay, and z uh, one to the plus, which means the plate goes down. Looks like it's trying to go that way. Yeah. Actually, no, it doesn't. Looks like it's trying to go this way. So um, you're gonna go ahead and power down again. We're gonna switch z around, and then you want me to mess that. You're not gonna switch it around. Yeah, you're gonna flip it around, mm -hmm. and we're gonna increase the strength of your z. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna disconnect from you. Okay, moving on to you guys. All right. Yeah, no worries. Do you have a for that? Yeah, I do. It's in my bag over here. Okay. Are you plugged in to your Arduino? Power's on there. Okay. On here. Okay. Right please. Thank you. Okay. Now, just so you guys know, I'm not I'm not really a specialist in software. For Arduino, is kind of a mystery to me. I just got it working on mine, uh, but. When I plug it in, it says device is ready to use. It takes a while to update some drivers. If you guys already have experience with the Arduino, you should be you should have some type of knowledge. But I, it takes a while for it to update the, the drivers. And then it, I open up my prompt interface program and I see new ports open. COM17, COM16. So it, it basically has how many different machines I've plugged into my machine. Because it started off as one, two, three. Okay, I'm connecting to one. See who's part of this is probably yours since you're the first one. I'm gonna go up in the pot. I'm gonna go positive, which means the plate goes down. Okay, your Z is on the Y. So disconnect your Z and plug it into your Y driver. Alright. Your X, this is your X. You don't have it plugged in yet. I have just okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna disconnect you and uh, I'm on the plug. So you can power down and make your changes. Add your motor so we can get that fixed. Okay, you're up. Seventeen. You're connecting. Okay. This is gonna be Z minus or plus. You're having the same problem he is. But it's because your motor, your your driver is not strong enough right now. We need to add strength, but it's in the right position, so that's good. X positive. What do you want your zero to be on your plate? So usually. This is the default. Like this is how ideally yeah, it would be. Right. This would be X, be Y, but I do it the opposite way. So things come out backwards, not backwards, so just X, turned around. X and Y are here. Right. That's why I have it in mind. Yeah. Am I get it right there? Right. That's how it defaults for me. That's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if that's positive, you're going to want to flip X around to a different, to okay. 180. That's okay. Which is okay. And then this is Y positive. Yeah, you're going to want to do the same thing for both of those. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're good. Uh, just connect, power down. Flip your X and Y on the same serial board. So this this is connected here, so it's that. It's an X, so it's an X. This is the this one is connected to the the so that's the this is the C right here. Okay. And this is the line uh, of so this Does it correspond with the letters? There's Y there, X and Okay, getting closer. And what are I doing for the Z? Uh, oh, we have to power it up. He's got the screen up. Yeah. Yeah, it should be, I did about 30 seconds. Yeah, it should be, I did about half a turn counter. 
extra plug holes. Right. So. Is this one right here? Yeah. yeah. There is a tab. I know. So that's zero? That's zero right there. Yeah, that's where it was. Okay, okay. This is positive. It's zero now. So I'm going to go half strength. Half strength. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go half strength for everything. Okay. So I'm going to go half strength for everything. So Mine's a little bit, can I make more? It's Better to err on the side of less voltage than more voltage. Do you have two? The same or all on the same page? And your ears are pretty much like the same. Do you have problems with your Z? No. Okay, I'm going to see you turn it up. To increase the voltage, you turn it down to decrease it. Did you have problems with your seat? Um, we didn't have it. We, we don't have it. Okay. I'm going to give you 45 because this is zero power. You see where the tab is on the side? It's pointing back on. Right. Okay. Now, if I turn it all the way around, it's pointing yeah. to this point now. Yeah. That's 100%. So you don't want that all the time. Okay, this is 50% coming on the flat side. So we're just going to go just under 50% right there. So 45. Uh, I'm going to do that for all of yours because that's where I want to know. So this is Arduino. Okay. Let me take your point. So can you use a, this is a micro tree software. Okay. So you can actually go forward. Let's try you guys again. I'll plug you in. You're connected. You want to go Z positive? It means the plate goes down. Still too low. Okay. Okay, the problem with your Z is that you're off. Don't disconnect the left column. Do not do that. Okay, now you can do it. Make sure all your pins are connected. I, I think it's the same problem on his. See, his is off by one step. Uh, like one right, thing is yeah, off. So yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He uh, just so you guys learn from this. His pin was off by one side, so he was off by one point. He only had three pins connected out of four. So we don't ever disconnect the bo uh, anything from the board while it's powered on. Just in case superstition and don't break something. What are uh E0 and E1. E0 is extruder 0, which okay. is the default extruder, and E1 is for an extra extruder or a fan if you want to add a fan. Okay. And what about the T1, 2, 3, or T0, um, 1, 2? Temperatures. Okay. All your temperature gauges. And the S's, are those like other oh, inputs for some switches? Something's going on. Okay, I'm going to hit, hit reset on your button right there. See that reset button? Push that reset button. So, yeah. Okay, you're good. You're connected. I'm going to Z plus. Look at that. It's much more powerful now. It's wonderful. Okay, X plus. So you want it the same place I am. Zero, zero, zero. So X should go this way. Works. Y plus coming this way. That's right. I'm going that way. So you're all set. Let me disconnect you. And you can. Um, if you're happy with your Z, I'm going to try and water down. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're good. You're disconnected. You can mm -hmm. actually disconnect everything. Just keep note of which orientation all your mm -hmm. motors are in. Uh, if you, like you want to put like a white strip, like a white out across the top of them so they all look the same when they're in the right position. That's how that's the way to do it. What's that? A white strip on white. Yeah, like so you just take a white out print and you just go white out, white out, white out. So you know that's the way they all so go. So you see a straight line. 
Yeah. Can you just take them off now? Yeah, you can take it well, apart. That's an effect. So you can see the straight line here. Here, here, here. You know which ones are better. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. right, once you have them in the right posi pin position, you, you can put a straight line, like a chalk line. Okay. Um, we're going to start leveling. I, no, I think we're going to level tomorrow. It's almost 4 o'clock now. So today we're just going to finish putting your panels back on, put these panels on. You're going to mount your electronics to the board, that last panel, and uh, mount this panel to that. When, so when, when do we tighten this up? We're going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to bring in some, some hardware. I use smooth rod like these. I take smooth rod and I put it on the bed, and I roll it underneath the extruder nozzle. So it's all the same height. Okay. Well, I'm saying that this this set is uh, is like yeah. Uh, I'll send it to you. No, but we shouldn't put this on until we. Yeah, you can because you're going to be making adjustments on this on that knob. But I need to tighten this up. Right? Yeah, you can tighten these up. Tighten up your Z um, uh, end stops, and then finish your wiring and put your panel back on, and then disconnect all the wires and then mount your electronics, and then you can reconnect them once it's all mounted. So sure. on. Not these and not. You can, yeah. Okay. You don't have to, but it's going to be, you be able to take it up and say, it's done. I just need to calibrate it now. Okay. Yeah. Power, power up. Yeah, I'll just We have to test it. You didn't test it? Yeah. Okay. So power first. Power first, and I'll plug it in. You can plug that in right now. How high up should this thing be? I think it's fine. That's, that's oh, great. Yeah. yeah. You can adjust it from this knob right here. Okay. Yeah. That's I don't fine. want to get too close to right. the wire there. Right. Okay. I'm going to connect to you. You're connected. Z plus. Plate you're up. That sounds good. That's a nice strong motor. Okay. And X, which one do you want? Here or here? Um, the way you set up yours. Right here. I'm so, I'm so sorry about that. I sent them an email. They might be getting, oh, they might, might be it. Right oh, they got back to me. Oh, did the ball bearings get lost? We have replacements. I need you to get a price in the replacement box. Okay, $25 for new bearings. Just the bearings, and then we have to figure out how to get them in. <laughs> Uh, some, you guys lost some of the bearings, right? Connecting to here. So you plate went down. X is the positive, so you want it to go that way. There it goes. And Y is the positive. That's the right way. Now, you gotta be real careful when you do this. You don't want to going so slow. I'm not used to being so slow. Okay. You're good. Everything seems to be working for yours. Okay. And then tomorrow we'll get the extruder motors going right. I'll, I talked to Rick just now. He 
says he thinks they're $25. If he gets the final price today, I'll just give him the money and you guys can pay me back. Or I owe you. I like. I guess it's my fault, so I'll take the hit on that. Oops, but uh, you guys want to get yeah, me up? So I think it's going to be just for this one part right there, and just slide it on. Okay. So. So it'll be a whole new housing. So it's a yeah. whole new bearing race. It's not actually a. It's going to be. Bag full of bearings. Yeah. No, he's not going to give you a bag full of bearings. Okay. So Chris, how close to this? How close to the head does this have? Oh, this you actually have two plates on top of this. Oh, so okay. You're going to have this one in the middle. You can do this now if you guys want to pack this up before you go home. Take these with you. You want to slide this on here like that? Okay. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And then the other plate, we're going to go. This one goes on top. And then you use the uh, those clips to hold it on. And these connect down here to those other two connectors. You have to open up your new driver and then open up the bunker that is. Right? Yes. Right. You cannot use springs in your bed. I think I would like mine a little higher so that less cable wrap on the bottom there. Mm -hmm. 
Can you want to make sure these are clipped off really well because there's a platform that's going to rise there. You don't have a mic that doesn't quite get that close. You don't have a mic that doesn't quite get that close. You don't have a mic that doesn't quite get that close. You don't have a mic that doesn't quite get that close. You don't have a mic that doesn't quite get that close. You don't have a mic that doesn't quite get that close. That's it, let's just go on, Thank 
Uh, there's a good link if you go to Maker Gear's website. Mm -hmm. Quick instructions for the mosaic, and they have a uh, electronics section, and it shows you where everything goes. Okay. So, got your, see how your fans are plugged in? Oh, that's mm -hmm. my fan. Uh, <laughs> Your fan goes right there. So when you power it on, it's always come on now. Right. You can actually plug that in <coughs> once you get your board mounted. Z axis and stuff, so it's right here. Yeah. Uh, extruder temperature, uh, and then temperature for the heated blood plate. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're using that. And then uh, heaters go through here, they just crimp down into the terminals. Okay. I think I see those instructions or link to those instructions in the files. Alright. Tim? Unless you guys think you got it, then come on over. Unless you guys got it on your own, come in. Alright, cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mm-hmm. We're living in the future. <laughs> Making your own 3D printer, that's something else. tell you how to wire it, but this is how everything gets plugged in. Oh, so we do need the orange piece that are tied up, huh? What's that? We do need these? No, those are terminated. You don't need those at all. You got an orange and a blue. I'm not worried about the color. It's just three up. You can just extra if you want to add it more and extra stuff in it. No. You can set this away. You don't need that right now. Uh. You can set these up. Yeah. Okay. How about D9? D9 is for a fan, right? See oh, fan oh. Here? That fan I have, I have that right here. Create a new one. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, okay. And so even though it's there, it's not hooked up in Yeah, because I can add a fan. I actually, oh. I don't have it installed right now. Oh. But I usually put it right here. And it, it comes up to the side or I put it on the front. Oh. Right here. Yeah. It's like this. Mm-hmm. Are they um, 5 volt? I think so. Actually, I don't think so. And uh, oh, so this one. Oh, where's that coming from? I can't find it. What are the colors? Uh, it's all black and all black. It's probably your temperature. Yeah, it's your temperature from the. Oops. There we go. Because this one plugs into this one here. This reads the temperature of your bed. And this one powers your bed, your heater. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. And so that's going to go to the T1. T1. Yeah. T1's going to be the two to the right. Uh huh.
Okay, you have power supply here, you have power supply there. Um, all you really need is a view from the hips to the two trip. So I get the whole one, mm -hmm. and the two trip is still. Your in-stop can be backwards too, so you've got to be careful about uh, which way you go. Your what stops? Your in-stop, the top of Oh, okay.
D10. So D10 is your distributor D9 or D8. These two can determine what the I have a picture box up at home. I'm going to try to uh, strip down everything I have on it. And we do a walk through the house. So that you can scratch it. Okay. Well, I think, I think uh, it's written to install the uh, driver for the commando. Right? So, if you want to like, if you want to check for the bar of you can see that, but the air code immediately was that the driver was installed. I just installed that. So you know the benefit of actually having the computer and your and stuff already installed. Well, yeah, except I think they probably dropped it now it's automatic it's automatically for something else. So um, the Mac stuff is kind of a foreign to me, so I don't know how we're gonna work through that. Before you did the chat room to figure out what's going on with your Mac stuff. At least we know when stuff works with a computer. So we get something else. Huh? Yeah. 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 version of this is all aluminum. There's no bolts for the frame. It's just pull it out and stand up the frame. Nice. <laughs> it's not, not made by IKEA. It's actually a key symbol. It's just Harbor Freight IKEA. Harbor. Sure. You can actually turn 
that on there. I wouldn't do it just if you want to make it easy. But you can actually push those for you. Now, since we have to plug in, if you're finished, you run the scanner here. That's it. So your fan's plugged in the right direction. And so whenever you plug your fan in or your computer in to your, to your board and power on, you should always be on. That's Now, just to check this direction it's going, we're going to have to loosen up the board. You get it wet. You're wet first on the sun? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. It's wet. It's totally yours. Yeah. But if you want it, you can start to play it. You want it to play it. You want it to go. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. You want it to go. 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 He says he's going to send out the two rails with block on Monday. Okay. When you, after switching out the original rail blocks, send the original rail blocks back to us. Okay. So. So it's the whole rail block. Yeah. Well, since I have to gather the back up, well, is he sending? Is he sending it to you? Uh, he's sending it here. Okay, here. Well, that's fine. I mean, I'll, as long as there's a return address somewhere, I mean, I'll just take this one off and I'll turn it around. I mean, that, you can probably the end of the day tomorrow, but it's just for the rails off. But I, I don't mess with it either. It's perfect. It's not good. Awesome. If we'll take any parts, you just do something. Yeah, I'm going to keep, I'll keep bringing, probably fuck up objects. I don't care.